One of my technicians brought this phone to me. Check this out. You can see the problem. Battery temperature too low. The phone will shut down. Check this out. This is the problem of the phone. By the technician. Check this out. This is me fixing it. In this video, I'll be sharing with you a lot of things, resistors you need, everything you need in order to fix this phone. So without time wasted, let's get started. My day technician, before I start fixing the phone, I want to show you guys the proof. Check this out. I just turn on the phone right now. I want you guys to see the proof that the phone is showing battery temperature to low. The phone will shut down. I want you guys to see the proof first before I start fixing. In this video, I'll be telling you guys what you need to do, everything, resistor you need, and a whole lot, okay? Don't skip any part so that you learn. Check this out. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, my data technician. If you have any question, feel free. Let me know in the comment section right now. Let me know if you have any question. Check this out. I'm still waiting. I want you guys to see the proof. Check this out, my data technician. If you have any question, feel free. Let me know in the comment section. Check this out. My data technician, I'm waiting. Check this out. Check this out. Battery temperature too low. The phone will shut down. You can see. My data technician, the phone show battery temperature too low. And the phone will shut down. My the technician, the technician that brought this phone to me told me that after the temperature too low, shows the error message shows on the screen. After some seconds, the phone shut down. My the technician, I'm going to take my time and show you step by step process how you can be able to fix it. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, you don't need to waste a lot of time. So check this out. I wait again to see if it's going to, you know. To show because I want you guys to see the proof again before I start. My dear technician, check this out. Check this out. So I waited for a long time. It's not still showing. So I have to start work. There's no time to waste my dear technician. The technician is telling me I should be fast a little bit because the customer, I mean the owner, is requesting for the phone. My dear technician, check this out. Let me go deeply and check. You can see that they have never worked on the phone before. Check this out. If you have questions, feel free. Let me know in the comment section. I will help you. Check this out, my data technician. I will be done. I will be done. I will be done. Check this out. Right here, you can see that there's no physical damage. You can see. You may ask Father Joe, where are we going to start? Don't worry, I will show you. My data technician, first of all, we have to locate the NTC and the ground. Check this out. So this is the battery connector. We have the positive NTC and the ground. You may ask for a Joe, what is NTC? NTC means negative temperature coefficient. What is ground? The ground is a negative. Okay, take note. So check this out. You can see I use my brush. I put my chemical and I clean it very well. Check this out. I'll be done. I'll be done. I'll be done. My dear technician, feel free to ask me a question in the comment section. Check this out. You can see there's no physical damage. The next thing is for me to bring this. Here we have a lot of uh, components inside. So right now I'm looking for a ohms resistor. Check this out. I'm looking for a ohms resistor. I'll be using 10 ohms resistor for this. So I'm checking. I will use 10 ohms resistor. You may ask Father Joe, why do you want to use 10 ohms resistor? I want to use 10 ohms resistor so that the CPU 
can recognize the battery very well. You may ask Father Joe, what caused the battery temperature too low? The phone will shut down. Number one is charger. Take note, number one is charger. If you're using a wrong charger to charge this phone, the CPU will start having issue and that will result to battery temperature too low. You may ask Father Joe, if we change the battery, will the issue fix? The answer is yes and no. And let me tell you why. You may change battery and the issue is fixed. You may change battery and the issue is not fixed. Okay? To solve the issue permanently is for you to use this method that I'm showing you. The issue will be solved permanently. Okay? The reason why I'm using the resistor is to confuse the CPU that the battery that is used in this phone is correct, okay? Is a good battery that the CPU wants. You may ask, Father Joe, what if we don't have this resistor? Can we bypass it with a normal jumper wire? The answer is no. If you bypass with a normal jumper wire, you're going to cause issue with the CPU later, if not now. Okay, it is not recommended. Please, it is recommended for you to use a resistor. Please, it is recommended for you to use a resistor so that the CPU will last longer without having any issue. Okay, at least the CPU must still send signal to the battery to have a little information on the battery and the phone will charge perfectly. You may ask Father Joe, what if we don't have exactly of this resistor? What can we use? Okay, what if we don't have exactly of this one? You can use from 10 ohms resistor to 100 ohms resistor. It's going to work perfectly. Listen to me. You can use from 10 ohms resistor to 100 ohms resistor. It's going to work perfectly. Okay, don't worry. It's going to work perfectly. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. My dear technician, check this out. You can see I'm done. Now, let's wait and see if it works or not working let's wait and see by the technician please let's wait let's wait my dear technician I want you guys to see the magic check this out i'm still waiting by the technician check this out if you have any question feel free let me know in the comment section, my dear technician. You can see I'm still waiting. It's supposed to show right now, but it's not showing, meaning that the issue is fixed. My dear technician, it's supposed to show by now, but it's not showing. The technician that brought it is happy right now. Oh my God, my guy is smiling. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, it's working, it's working. It's working 100%. Guys, it's working, it's working. It's supposed to show, but it's not showing. The phone is not shutting down. You can see it's working. It's working, my dear technician. I'm still going to wait, guys. I'm waiting. I want you guys to see the proof. Okay? Check this out. It's working, my dear technician is working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. My dear technician, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Check this out. You can see, still not showing. My dear technician, I'm still waiting. Let me wait for like um, uh, 15 minutes more. My dear technician, check this out. My dear technician, you can see. It's working 100%, no error. So guys, thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now. I love you all. You can see, still not showing. Thank you. Bye-bye. I love you all. Bye for now. Thank you. Check this out. You can see, 100% working. Check this out. Bye for now.